TCF, welcome to the 2021 update show. So I got Carly as my co-host, um, and then we're going to basically talk about the Open, all that good stuff, recap all the workouts, uh, give you uh, some uh, standings on how the uh, Open went, and also how the teams are doing this year. So 2021.1 is now in the books. Uh, so how do you think it went, Carly? I think it went pretty well. No one was really expecting for there to be wall walks in it, yeah. but I think everyone handled it really well. Yeah, I mean, who would have guessed wall walks out of literally all the movements that was there, right? Yeah. I mean, I think, what was it, two weeks ago or something like that, there wasn't even a wall included in the equipment list, and then they yeah. added it in there. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a uh, definitely a curveball that Dave threw at us. So it was awesome to try something different, especially a completely new uh, standard, right? I mean, that, that kind of threw a lot of people with different curveballs. I know I, I heard a lot of no reps happening, yeah. um, <laughs> especially where, where it was all about hand placement, making sure that your hands hit the, where they were supposed to go before those feet came down. But uh, holy crap, my shoulders were smoked from that workout. Yeah. I mean, I know the next day, like Saturday and Sunday, I, it was like it was hard for me to take deep breaths because my a whole upper back, upper back was just absolutely sore. Yeah, that's how mine was too. So I mean, it's it's just crazy. Um, but absolutely love the wall walks. Love that they put that in there. Something that really most everyone can do, and something that's uh, kind of like it's not super high skill, but it definitely kind of starts wearing out on you especially when you're around like 15 21 i mean yeah. 21 wall walks holy crap that's a lot that is a lot especially <laughs> after all the double unders too yes and then uh someone was talking about like this is the most um wait, like crucial is the right word or whatever like you if you no, got a no rep on a wall walk i mean that literally took you at least five six seconds or something like that mm -hmm. to do right i mean and it just takes so much out of you if you got all the way up the wall and then all the way back down and then you've got no rep at the very last second yeah like i mean i think that i think people were talking like that was the the hardest no rep ever within the open so um it was an awesome workout loved it loved the introduction of that and again makes it kind of accessible to everyone in the world right everyone's got a wall a door or something like that and everyone pretty much has a jump rope yeah that's cool uh, but kind of getting into the standing stuff like that so we want to talk about the tops uh top three people from each division so the top three people from the men's rx division so we have uh myself uh in first place west came in second place uh so i had 394 reps west had 282 reps and then brett uh had 220 reps so it was very close um there i know that the just a wall walk standard in general got a lot of people trying to walk all the way back and all the way forward um for the top three women rx we have guksha coming in first uh and then we have lisa coming in second oh guksha with 375 reps Lisa had uh, 288 reps, and then uh, Sarah Ogburn had uh, 284 reps. So it was really close between Lisa and Sarah. I think that was what? I think that was like four wall walks. Was it wall walks or jump rope? It was jump rope. Jump, rope? jump rope. Oh, crap. So that was really close for yeah. uh, Sarah and uh, Lisa. So that's awesome there. Um, and then it gets really close with the top three men scaled. So we had Anthony. Uh, he finished the workout, actually, uh, with 14.45. So he had like 15 seconds. Right, so that's really, really close. He was kind of yeah. close there. Uh, Charles had uh, 506 reps. So I think he had like, I don't know. I think he said he had like 50, 50 or 100 singles left. Um, no, it, there's 555 reps. So he had uh, 50, 50 or 49 yeah. single unders left uh, in the workout. So he was really close. And we actually had a tie right for third place. So he had, it was a tie between the Adams, right? Mm -hmm. So Adam Mitchell and Adam Skurs, like both had... 391 reps, um, but Adam Skurzik just barely uh, topped out Adam Mitchell uh, with that tiebreak time. So that's why it's super important uh, to make sure you get that tiebreak time every single time for these open workouts because uh, Adam edged out at, uh, Adam edged out Adam. <laughs> Adam Skurzik edged out Adam Mitchell uh, with uh, a little bit faster tiebreak time. So that's awesome there. Uh, for the top three women scaled, we had uh, two people actually finish in here. So we had Amy Rowland finish at 1228. Uh, Josie uh, finished at 1312. So that's awesome. I think that's also uh, Josie's first open as well. So finishing the first workout, coming in the top three. Um, and then we also had Grace. Uh, I think she I think um, she was like just shy by like seven reps or something yeah. like that, someone said. I mean, that's crazy right there. Um, so she was just shy of finishing the workout. So was super duper close, that coming in really close. So okay. some kind of highlights, stuff like that, that we wanted to bring up. Uh, Dina doing the workout. Uh, she came in and she did, I think, the first 
two rounds of the one wall walk, 10 double unders, three wall walks, and 30 double unders. All right, she, she wanted to make sure she was still in it, stuff like that, uh, even with her kind of injured back. So that's awesome that she still moved through that. She was still smart with it, right? Didn't uh, just do it to injure. She didn't want to injure herself, so that's awesome. And also wanted to highlight that Anthony, Josie, and Amy uh, fi actually finished the workout. So that's awesome there. Awesome effort. Um, some kind of spear of the open stuff. Right, so we had a lot of cool costumes, things like that, other things, Spirit of the Open, like cheering people on, uh, really helping out, stuff like that with Friday Night Lights. Um, so some people that we wanted to uh, kind of bring uh, honorable mention to uh, were Andy and Mary with their Top Gun um, theme. So it was awesome having Andy come in, in the flight suit and then Mary dressed up as well. Um, and then we had Brandon coming in as Joe Dirt and then Kirsten dressing up uh, kind of like as Goonie themed. She wasn't like a, one character, but it was like all Goonies and stuff like that. Um, the really funny one was uh, Jess coming in as uh, Cousin Eddie from the uh, Christmas Vacation movie. Um, she had the, the prop and all uh, for that. <laughs> uh, so that was really fun. Um, and then also uh, it was great to have uh, everyone cheering everyone else on fr for Friday Night Lights. So having everyone out, out here yelling, screaming at each other. Um, and then uh, t when we were talking about who were some kind of like spirit of the open or honorable mentions for that, uh, Anthony and Charles came up because I think they cheered pretty much everyone on uh, throughout Friday Night Lights. They were literally in everyone's faces just yelling at each other, go, go, go. Yeah. You could literally hear their voices across the, <laughs> the gym. So it was awesome. Um, and then also just wanted to uh, bring awareness that, to Anna Brandon and Haley for judging a crap ton of athletes throughout uh, Friday Night Lights. I know other people did as well, so uh, if we didn't get you specifically, uh, we're sorry about that, but I know that they kind of stuck out towards us. And But thank you for anyone everyone that helps out with Friday Night Lights. It makes it run a lot more smooth. Um, so those are some honorable mentions, but individual winners, we wanted to uh, give that to Wes, G, and Charlie, because the whole family came in dressed up as Top Gun, right? I mean, uh, Wes literally is in a flight suit all the time. G actually had a flight suit, I think, uh, like they got it from like one of Wes's coworkers or something like that. And then Charlie had his own uh, flight suit himself. I think they like shrunk it down for uh, Charlie himself. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we wanted to give that to them. Um, and then for the team itself, right? For the team, we're giving it to Team RX-ish uh, because of the board mainly, right? So each team had like a, a lot of people come out and judge. A lot of people participate in Friday Night Lights. People... Uh, uh, dressing up, uh, people posting the social media, all that stuff, and then we so like the, really the main differenti differentiator uh, is the boards. Uh, as you can tell, kind of behind us, you, you can't really see the flex flexual healing one, uh, but the RX RX ish board has a little bit more um, pizzazz to it. It's a little bit more together. Uh, we're having to hold up the flexual healing board a little bit uh, to make sure that you can see it even in the camera. So we're gonna give it to Team RX RX ish this week um, just because of the board mainly um, everything else again was super close we had those we had like even amount of people in the tops and stuff like that um, so kind of moving on to next week oh wait actually no we need to talk about the team standing so after uh, the first uh, open workout 21.1 we have uh, in first place drum roll please uh, we have flexual healing in the lead of Team RX ish. So Flexual Healing has 148 and a half points, um, and RX ish has 126 and a half points. So still really close. Um, but after that first workout, we have um, Flexual Healing in the lead. So there's still playing time. I mean, there's still two workouts. Not even half of the open is over with. So make sure you come in, come out dressed up. Spirit of the Open, uh, really try your hardest to, to place in the top three of each division, all that stuff to earn your team points. Um, and then speaking of next week, uh, we have the upcoming theme is St. Patrick's Day, because St. Patrick's Day is, I think, this Wednesday or something like that. Uh, so make sure you come out dressed in green, dressed as leprechauns, dressed, dressed up with Lucky Charms, uh, whatever you want. St. Patrick's Day related, um, make it a super duper fun and exciting and a lot of that stuff. Um, and also, uh, we're going to do a um, potluck. So uh, for this one, make sure that you sign up. There's a um, QR code up at the front whiteboard, so make sure you scan that um, and put your name down, stuff like that, and also a dish that you're bringing or what dish you're bringing so we kind of have a, a good variety. Uh, also, I think we're planning on sending that link out. Um, it should be in the blog post of this video, so make sure you click on that, sign up for that as well, um, or in the description of this video on YouTube. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so talk with your team members. Make sure you got everyone is uh, uh, super excited and ready for St. Patrick's Day coming out to Friday Night Lights um, and all that good stuff. So, what are your predictions for 21.2, Carly? 
I think that there's going to be either a dumbbell movement or a barbell movement. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. My guess would probably be either like clean and jerks or snatches or something like that. Okay. Um, And I could also see them throwing in a muscle up. Okay. So you think they'll try and do a muscle up? Yeah. Uh, like a bar muscle up? Probably. Bar or rings. I don't know okay. which one. I think, I think so they, they use the wall. I don't know if they're going to still use the wall. I think the only other movement they can use on the wall is handstand push-ups. But I don't think that's going to come up again. Um, just because we did all those wall walks, yeah. double unders are kind of out, right? So then no more jump rope. I think it's going to be like a, a dumbbell. I think it's going to be like a, something more leg intensive. Yeah. Right. So maybe like a dumbbell thruster. Okay. Or, uh, I've been joking around saying like a single arm overhead squat with a dumbbell. I don't know if that's an actual like thing that they'll do, but I thought that was something that would be really difficult to do with a, just a 50 pound dumbbell or a 35, mm-hmm. right? Maybe yeah. that and doing like uh, pull-ups or something like that. Yeah, I could see pull-ups too. Yeah, so like a single arm overhead squat and then pull-ups I think is what we'll see this week. That'd be a lot of fun. I would like that workout a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you tell us what you think 21.2 is going to be. Um, make sure you comment that down below, all that good stuff. And uh, look forward to seeing everyone for this upcoming Friday Night Lights. Again, St. Patrick's Day theme is going to be this Friday, the 19th, I believe, uh, from that 4.30 to 7.30 time frame. So see everyone there.